Hey there gang, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get up and running with GitHub Pages. Alright then, so as well as allowing us to upload all of our code to repositories, GitHub also provides us with a free hosting service for static websites and that is called GitHub Pages, whereby each repository on our account can have its own hosted website too. Now that could be the repo project itself or a site that accompanies that project. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get up and running with GitHub Pages. And I will assume that you at least know the very basics of Git and GitHub. If you don't, definitely check out my tutorial all about Git and GitHub first of all, right here on YouTube. The link is going to be down below. So the first step is to create a new GitHub repository. So do that, give this a name, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to call it Super Ninja. All right, you can give it a description if you want. It doesn't matter if it's public or private. And down here, I'm going to add a readme file. You don't have to. I'm adding this just so we don't have a completely blank repo. And then click on create repository. So once we have this repo, I want to clone this so I can work on it locally on my computer. So to do that, I'm going to go to code, then copy this right here. Then I'm opening up a terminal. Navigate to the directory you want to clone this in. And then type git clone and then paste this in. And by the way, you do need Git installed on your computer for this to work, obviously. So it's gonna clone the project for me, and then I can CD into that project. So CD Super Ninja, and then I'm gonna open this up in Visual Studio Code by typing code, and then full stop and press enter. You can open it up in whatever code editor you wish. So now I wanna flesh out this very simple project. So I'm going to keep this super simple and just create one file, an index.html file. And then inside there, I'll type doc, then tab to boilerplate this. Inside the body, we'll just do an h1, which says super ninja. And then below that, we'll do a paragraph tag with some lorem ipsum inside it. And we'll duplicate that a couple of times, just so we've got some dummy content right here. So that's the website that I want to deploy. I know it's going to be absolutely pants, but it doesn't have to win Design of the Year award. I just want to show you how to deploy a website to GitHub Pages. So what we have to do is first of all, push this code to GitHub. Now, if we take a look at Git status, you'll notice we're probably going to be on the main branch, on branch main. So I want to push up this main branch because when GitHub Pages takes effect, it's going to look at the main branch and the code on that main branch by default. So I'm going to first of all add these changes. To do that, we say git add and then full stop to say all changes. Then I'm going to commit them. So git commit hyphen m for a message and that's going to say initial commit like so. And then I'm going to push this up by typing git push origin main and then that's going to put it up to our GitHub repo. So once that's done, let's take a look over here at our repo. I'm going to refresh just to see if we have that code, and we do. There is the index.html file. Awesome, so now we have that code up on the repo. How do we then host this index.html file? How do we make this into a website hosted by GitHub Pages? Dead simple, just go to settings, and then scroll down until you see GitHub Pages, which is right here, and it's asking us now for a source. So basically, if we click on this and then select the main branch, and then save, keep this as root. If we save now, that tells GitHub Pages that look, I want you to look at the main branch of our repo and I want you to host that website or that project for us. So for this to work, then you should ideally have an index.html file and that is gonna be the page that is served up at the root of GitHub Pages for us. So if we scroll down, it gives us a URL if we go to GitHub Pages again, you can see this URL right here now. This was generated for us. And notice, this is my username. I am seanjp.github.io forward slash the repo name, which is Super Ninja. So if I open that up in another tab, then we're going to see this web page right here. Awesome. So that has worked. And now this is being hosted by GitHub Pages. And that's how simple it is. But what now if we want to make changes to the website? Well, very simple. I'm going to come down here and imagine I want to work on the styles. Well, typically I wouldn't always work on the main branch, so I might check out a new branch. So to do that, we say git and then check out, then hyphen b to do a new branch and then the branch name. I'm just going to call it styling 
and press enter. So now we're on this new branch working on this extra feature, which is going to be a CSS file. So let's create that. I'm going to call it styles.css. And then I'm going to link to that from the index file as well. So underneath the title, we'll do a link tag. And the href is just to styles.css. OK, so some super simple styles in here. We'll do a body, take off the margin, so margin zero. We'll do a background of pink. And then also we'll say text align, if we can spell this, is going to be center, like so. All right, so if I save this now, what I want to do is push up this new branch. So I'm going to say git add again to add those changes, then git commit m, and I'll say styling, and then I'm going to git push origin, and I want to push up this branch, which is styling. That's what I called it right here. So I'm going to push up that branch to GitHub. I'll press enter to do that. And once it's done over here, I'll go and take a look on GitHub. So if we go back up here to the repo, hopefully in a second, we're going to see that second branch styling. Yep, we do. So what I typically do is make a pull request to merge this into the main branch, because remember, that's where our GitHub pages are being served from. At the minute, we've just pushed up another branch, and if I was to refresh over here, it's not going to show that change. We have to merge this into the main branch, which is where GitHub pages is looking at to serve our files. So I'm going to create a pull request, and then I'm going to wait for a second and merge that pull request. And then once this is done, hopefully now, if we go to the main branch, I'm going to go back over here and choose the main branch. We should see the styles.css and the index.html file linking to styles.css. So automatically, GitHub is going to look at that updated main branch. And we don't have to do anything else. We don't have to go to the settings again. All we have to do is wait a moment and then refresh. And we should see that change here. It does it all automatically for us behind the scenes. So if you need to make a change, all you do is make a new branch or work on main directly if that's what you want to do. Upload that branch and then merge the branch into main. GitHub Pages is automatically going to update it where it's hosted. Now there's one more thing I want to show you and that is what if we don't want to serve up the website using the main branch? What if we want a separate branch called, I don't know, site host or something else that we want to serve from we want github pages to look at that branch and not the main one because sometimes the main branch might be our project and we want a website to accompany that project not necessarily host that project right so what we're going to do is go to settings or in fact first of all what i'm going to do is make a new branch over here so i'm going to say git check out and then I'm just going to call this site. You can call it what you want, though. So now we're on a new branch called site. And all I'm going to do is push this up to the GitHub repository. So I'm going to say git push origin site. We don't need to do a new commit because we've not actually changed the files. All I'm doing is pushing all of this code up to a new branch called site on the repo. So if we go back over here and go to the repo, we should have a new branch called site. So now what I want to do is tell GitHub Pages, look at this branch, not the main one, and serve up this website. So I'm going to go to settings to do that, and then scroll down to GitHub Pages again. And all I have to do is choose the branch right here. So I'm going to choose site and then save. And that's it. That's all we have to do. Now GitHub Pages is going to look at that branch instead. And if I go over here, what I'm going to do is go to the main branch and I'm going to edit or delete a file. So I'll delete this index file right here. OK, so commit those changes. And this is on the main branch. So we no longer have an index.html file on this branch. Now, if we go over here and refresh, then we still see the website. Even though we deleted the index.html file from the main branch, we still see the website. And that's because now it's no longer looking at the main branch. It's looking at this site branch now, and the index file still appears right here. Now, if we wanted to add new pages, we could do. I could add in a contact page over here. So let me say contact.html. And then also inside the index.html file, I'll do a link to that page. So an anchor tag. And all I'm going to do is say go to forward slash contact.html. 
all right and then i'm going to save this go to contact do a doc boilerplate and then just an h1 at the top that says contact page all right so if i save this i need to git add and then i'm going to commit so git commit um and i'll just say contact and then i'm going to push this up so git push origin site because we're still on the site branch and that's the branch that github pages is looking at so now if i go over here again and i'm going to just refresh to make sure we've got that contact page right here yes we do and if we go into the index file we should see the anchor tag right here cool okay my mistake i um didn't add any text inside the anchor tag so let me just do that um, i'm going to say contact right here i'm doing it directly in github instead of doing it in my text editor but whatever now if we go to this thing over here i'm going to hard refresh and there's no change yet because sometimes it does take a minute or so for github to look at the changes and serve up those changes but if i now do this again then we can see that contact link right here and if i click on that it goes to forward slash contact and we see a 404 page so why is that well remember it's because over here i said that this right here is in the url and that's the first part of the url so we have to say forward slash super ninja first of all then forward slash contact so if we come over here again i'm going to edit this and i'm going to say forward slash super ninja and then forward slash contact.html I'm going to commit these changes and then hopefully let's have a look has that worked yep hopefully now if we go over here we're just going to wait a second and then refresh so let's try this refresh and then hover over contact yep looks like that's updated if i click on this now now we see the contact page so that all works so there we go my friends that's how to get started with github pages and how we can use it to host our repo websites if you like this video, my friends, please do not forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'm going to see you in the very next one.